Hello everybody, JT Bear here once again. Just thought I'd take this fabulous day as a pretty darn good opportunity to show you around the greenhouse. It's 10 days into spring here in southern British Columbia, Canada. And uh, let's just see how things are growing. Okay, things are not looking good for those uh, fruit tree cuttings that I took. But I'm not terribly surprised and really 20-30 bucks for trees, not a bad deal. So I'll probably just end up getting a few different varieties a little further down the road but it was an interesting field test okay what else that little solar fan I built is still working as always through the camera it looks like it's going a lot slower than it is but I assure you that puppy's cruising on all my window ledges here I've got some little cuttings clones I like to call them some lemon balm here some lemon balm over here found some seeds in an envelope from our cantaloupe. I don't know, but I figured I'd give those a try. Let's see, other windowsills. Got a kale and a pok choy sitting up there. They seem to be doing just fine. Look at that temperature in here, eh? Not bad for March 31st. Just below, I've got some more sage. I love my sage. These are the willow cuttings from last September, September 8th, marked on there. They seem to have survived the winter just fine. I think it's safe to say I now have four little willow trees. Looking forward to watching those grow up. And one more windowsill. Over here I've got some more cat mint going. Just little tiny ones, but they'll grow up in no time. I don't know how many of you saw the clip I put up where I was saving seeds from the Volunteer Juliet Hybrids. But these are those seeds. Pop up a quick link to that video. But basically, you just take your tomato and rub its innards all over a paper towel, let it dry, and apparently they will absolutely sprout. So I'm gonna have some transplanting to do here, but much like with my peppers, you know, I transplant so many plants in any given year, I'm really not too worried about it. I'll definitely get some good tomatoes out of those. Not sure how well they're showing up down in the bottom of the barrel there, but my goldfish survived the winter, quite content. I did split up a few of them though, put some of them back into the sump tank. I was getting some spawning type behaviors out of a few of these fish, so I thought, yeah, well, why not? I'll put them in there and maybe get a mop head and see if I can get some baby goldfish out of the deal. So that's why they're separated. Let's look at the garden. How's that lemon balm looking, eh? Another dozen or so plants started in the back corner, looking very happy. My sages. Some of them are not doing terribly well. I think uh, perhaps the individual plants have lifted out of the water level. So I'm going to have to rearrange them. But they do seem to be dealing okay with having the cordage to climb up on. Those are the kale cuttings that survived the winter and then produced some roots for me this spring. So pop them in the aquaponics and look at them grow. And that's the pak choy in front of it there. I don't know, for 10 days into spring that looks pretty good to me. And a couple of Swiss chard happily starting out over there. Let's check out the last bed. As always, this bed's kind of chaotic, but when you take a closer look at it, it's not so bad temperature on that is reading at about 70 degrees so that's not bad at all those green onions quite ready for another go at some potatoes I suspect and then I've got leeks in the containers they're all looking very nice in the back here my oregano is coming up nicely and just like before that one mint that I lost the label for just look at that go Mint and aquaponics is a beautiful combination. Speaking of, there's the cat mint from which I have taken so many generations of other plants. Grew very dense over the course of the winter and just as I expected, started to warm up. And this stuff is getting huge fast. It's going to be a curtain in no time, I suspect. All right, well, there you go. 10 days into spring. That's what my little aquaponic system looks like right now. 
I do have some changes planned. I'd like to try stacking these three pieces in sort of a single shelf, making better use of the uh, footprint. We'll see how that works out. And I'm hoping to take this area here that I'm just finishing up cleaning out and put in a four foot by four foot wooden framed, liquid rubber lined pond and garden. Basically, I'm going to rebuild an IBC tote aquaponic system because I did the math and to get what I need for either one of those two systems locally, it's just plain cheaper to build a nice wood frame, put a decent liquid rubber liner in it, and I'll be good to go for years and years. Alright, thanks for watching this quick greenhouse update. Have yourselves a fantastic day.